Hey guys, welcome back to Sports Gossip. Your host here, DK. Like and subscribe to us on the network. Trade Day 1982, yep, you see it. Jacoby Ellsbury, the newest member of the New York Yankees, signing a seven-year, $153 million deal. Guys, he's going to be there till the time he is 37 years old. Listen, in 2011, he hit 32 bombers and had over 100 RBI. Guy, this guy's incredible. But what does that mean to Yankee fans out there in Yankee universe? I think it means the end of Curtis Granderson. Look for Curtis Granderson to move on to the New York Mets. As for Cano, you guys are asking, hmm, I think they still have a $180 million deal on the table for Cano. That's if he really wants to be a Yankee. Now, if not, look for them to try to get some sort of deal for Brandon Phillips from the Cincinnati Reds. But with this Ellsbury deal, it, it, it's, I think it's great. You know, it provides youth and center field. Granderson's been banged up. He strikes out a lot. They're looking for 300-plus hitters on this Yankee team. Sort of a way to shake up what's been going on. Now, I know the Steinbrenner team's talking about keeping the payroll under $189 million. Yeah, right. Listen, they hate it being at the bottom. Now, you guys are all thinking about Cano. Well, check this out. Cano doesn't draw numbers like Jeter and a Rod do. So, what are they thinking? Cano, go see if somebody else will pick you up. Like who? The Seattle Mariners. Yeah, good luck with that. Well, remember, like and subscribe to us on the network, Trade in 1982. Also, check out our other video of Prince Fielder being dealt to the Texas Rangers. We'll see you next time, guys, on Sports Gossip. Remember, don't forget, subscribe to us. Once again, that's Jacoby Ellsbury signing a seven-year, $153 million deal to man center field. Oh, and if you were thinking, is he going to wear number two? I'm not even going to answer that. We'll see you next time.